Hey guys, check out this. I made an origami enterprise. It is the one that James C. Turk flew. This is the Enterprise A. You it can also be the original or it can be I think is I think it might be or be the A, but I'm making this for the fifty I made this for the fiftieth anniversary. I haven't figured out how I was going to do a YouTube video for it yet until now. I'm sorry I'm a little late for it, but here we go. Let's get started. First, we'll need just a regular rectangle piece of paper. Doesn't matter what kind it is. I'm just using this. It came out of my math notebook, and it's great origami paper. So we will be folding it in a triangle. We're going to make a square out of this, but you want to keep this extra piece right here. I know that normally you don't, but this time you're going to. And we are going to be cutting alongside this right here. I'm just going to tear it because I can't find my scissors right now. Tearing is efficient, but I wouldn't use it as a main thing. If you if you have scissors, I'd use the scissors. Make sure the if you're tearing, make sure the crease is nice and strong. Rub your nail across it, and then it should be ready to tear. Yeah, look at that. It's tearing nice and easy. There we go. Keep this. Hold it off to put it off to the side. Okay. Right now we're going to create the base of the ship. Just this part right here. This is a little, this is a little confusing, so pay attention. Right now, I'm making the uh, the bird base. I believe that's what it's called anyway. Like the bird base fold. I think it's pretty. I think that's what it's called anyway. Oh, and at the end of this, uh, don't forget to put, right when we get to the bird base fold, press pause on the video, and don't forget to press the, that like and subscribe button, and I will reply to it, and leave a comment saying that you liked it, and that you would like to see more, I'll go and reply saying thanks or something, and saying good, thanks a lot, hope you, got, you guys start doing a lot of origami like this too and I would like to say thanks to Rob's world they're the ones who started putting me on my great origami path and thanks a lot Rob's world if you're watching this so do what I just did on that on both sides. And some people were, were wondering if this was my, if these were my own designs. 
Yes, these are all my very own designs. I am not getting them off of any site. And if I was, and if I did ever get some off the sites, I would actually like tell them that, hey, this is from Blank and Blake's site and things like that. But nope, all these are my own designs and my own creations. So, no worry there. This next part is a little confusing. You fold you fold down right here, but you don't fold down, you just press right there in the middle. That just gives you a nice little crease right there where you know where you have to put down. And then you just go down to that crease and you fold it all the way across and then flip it around and then do the exact same thing. And that's pretty. That's pretty easy. But the next part is actually the confusing part. You get to like right here, and then if you look, you have a crease all around every one of those four pieces. And now let's. Crease along those sides. We're making a uh, squash fold. If you know how to do it faster than this, I you can do that. I don't know how to do it, do it faster than this. So this is what, the way that I've been doing it my entire life. So yep. And if you haven't watched Rob World yet, he creates a lot of cool things, and he is actually, and he's pretty good at it. So, if you're interested in this, then I'd head over to Rob's World. Now, what we are going to do is fold this up, and fold it, fold only one side over like that, where you have like that thing sticking out and then you do the same with this other side and you fold it over one side over that way so then you have those two things sticking out and then you take this and you just pull it down to right there where it's parallel with that point do that to both sides pretty simple and then this you fold this up and then what's next is where you take it you push them together kind of like you push it together kind of like this and then you have to and then you just fold fold along and then you just smash it all together And once you're finished with that, you basic. This is the long, like the throat of the ship, is what I like to call it. Depends on what you guys like to call it. And then you just like fold down, like uh, make it where it's like this, where it's straight across like that. And then you do that to the other side. And then we're going to open it up and push it inward like this pretty simple right yeah and then you just fold those down and then you take this part right here and you just fold it where it's down inside of there something like that there we go that's that's what it's supposed to look like like that good 
And then the next part is we go, we flip this over, we fold this up like this, and then we fold it in half again, and then we fold this back and up over top. And we tuck that underneath there. It's pretty simple enough, right? Yep. And then we lift, and then we have to, uh, kind of like, since kind of uh, f fold that down like that it's okay and we fold this up and this up like that and that will get kind of like the base and then you just fold this overward don't worry that's just that's just my brother's phone going off it's nothing big and then you make sure that you have those folds back like that so right now you're stuck with this right now something that I normally like to do I don't know if you would like to do this but I find this part right here I fold it down to there like straight down and then I squash that and I just fold right back up it makes it easier on me so it might make it easier on you I don't know this is your enterprise, and you're, you can kind of do what we're doing right now with it, free willingly right now. Like, you can choose not to do this or do it. It doesn't matter to me. Your enterprise. And then, what I normally do, what I do next is, I just fold these, this straight up like this on both sides, where it's parallel with that. So just fold along that side. And then I fold upward where it's just straight up, sticking straight up. Try and make it as even as possible. Mm, yeah, good. And then you will. This next part's a little confusing. So you go up about half an inch and you fold down like that you can choose if you want to go higher or lower and you do the same on both sides I'm just kind of eyeballing it right now yeah that looks correct and then you do the and then along that same crease you fold right back over that away and then what's next afterward you you split it like this, I mean, no, like this, and then you just fold it back like that. So, yeah, like that. And then right here, you can fold this in and then fold that down like that. Where it's a nice, good crease all the way through. Where it's kind of pocketed. And do the same on this side. And then once you're done with that, we will start working on the hall or dish or saucer, whatever, which, whichever sounds good to you. Just set this aside. Grab the long piece of paper now. Fold it in half, and then in half one more time. Good, you got that. And then you fold down each corner. Make sure there's room in between one of them for you to... Oh, never mind. Whoops. That's optional where you could... Okay, once you're done with that, you take your glue, and you can... I usually like to do this so then it's nice and flat, but you don't have to. You just put a little glue on each one of the corners and make sure that's all nice and glued down. You don't have to do this, I just choose to.
Okay, once you're done with that, make sure that they're all nice and down. I have to re-glue this one. It's not good enough. Good. Now there's this one. They all are all popping up on me. Yay. Okay, good. Yeah. That's if you're doing the way that I do, then you then you're going to need it again. But if you want, you can take the saucer section, the part that I said to keep open. I said that for a reason because you can take this, open up that flap right there. And you can open and you can stick it in like that and you could call that a quits you could or you like I nor sometimes like to do it is where you glue it on top like that I'm going to do it that way because it, this I'm not planning on using this in, in any way like that so stick some glue on there and just stick it right on top And then make sure it's nice and good. Make sure all your creases are well. And then that, if you want, you can tear these this down and then fold it like underneath or something. It doesn't matter to me. And you could glue that. It would be where it's nice like that on both sides. It would be so that it actually looks like it has like the actual things on it good and good so and then make sure those creases are nice and sharp and there you have it a enterprise you can put the Lab you can put the labels right here. That is the USS Enterprise NCC-1701. And then you can put A. You can just keep it plain like that. Or you can put A and B. And that wraps up the Enterprise. And I will see you later.